The dragonfly symbolizes change, transformation, adaptability, and self-realization. Ooh. Hi friends, if you're new here, my name is Gio. Actually, my name is Giovanna. And I like to draw stuff with pens and teach you guys how to do it. So if this sounds fun to you, you can just hit the subscribe button so I can be here for you every Thursday. The list of materials you need for this tutorial is down in the description and let's get started. Today we're drawing two dragonflies. One is going to be more simple and minimalistic using a thicker line and this will help us understand the basic shapes and proportions of a dragonfly. And the second one is going to be a lot more detailed and complex but don't be scared, I promise you can do it. Are you ready? Let's start by positioning them both on paper by drawing a vertical line that will be the middle of the dragonfly and also like a symmetry line. I want you to really try to replicate everything you see in one side on the other side like a mirror. To start, I'm marking a little oval shape like this on the center of the vertical lines and this little oval shape marks the body of the dragonfly. Now let's focus on the first one and then we'll move to the second. On this sketching part, we always break things down into geometrical shapes to get the proportions right. So I'm just drawing some oval shapes and circles for the body and then I'm dividing this long tail part that I don't know if I can call this a tail but I'm doing it anyway and just break this part into equal sections like this and this is not a scientific illustration so you know you can just randomly choose how many sections you want and how long you want them to be right i'm sure it's in nature there's rules but i just don't know them so you know we just do what we can and at the very end you can add just two little circles or like smaller sections like this i think that's a cute little touch now let's work on the wings first i'm adding one extra guideline which is a line that's just gonna guide where things are I'm not gonna actually use it as anything specific in my sketch and this line is gonna go at the height of the head following a horizontal direction and the wings usually start concentrated in the center like this and then they expand out notice that it's not a very even curve it kind of goes up to a point and then it becomes horizontal like this and for the lower part of the top wings they also follow a curve coming from the center of the dragonfly moving down and then up like this for the bottom wings, the top lines are going downwards and the lower lines follow this beautiful curve coming from the center, curving down like this more drastically and then the line moves close to a horizontal direction. This is a basic shape for dragonfly wings and now we can start drawing the pattern for the wings too. And the patterns are a little hard to figure it out to be honest, so feel free to just follow along with me. Just keep in mind that they are expanding from the center and opening up. So they come from the center and then the lines are very close together. The distance between them is smaller. And then as the lines move out towards the end of the wings, they expand and then they have more space between each other. And you can also add some extra curved lines like this to make it more interesting. And just always remember to replicate them on the other side. When you have your pattern ready, you can start outlining your drawing with an ink pen and I'm going to be using a 05 for this step. At this stage, we are making some final decisions here for a dragonfly, so you're not going to draw the geometrical shapes again. You're going to use the geometrical shapes you put with your pencil on paper to guide you so you can contour the body in the right shape. So you're basically drawing a line around all the shapes, like this. You can also add some little details on the body, like the eyes and a little pattern like this. I drew like this little V-shaped thing. I don't know, just little details, you know? But you don't need to go too overboard because we're trying to go minimalistic with this dragonfly. And then you can do the same thing with the wings, the arms, and the legs. When you're done, just erase the pencil marks and remember to wait a few seconds for your ink to dry. And then voila! you have a minimalistic dragonfly isn't she so cute now let's take it up a notch and add more details like shading and textures on our second dragonfly 
butterfly. To start, let's finish our sketch by drawing some geometrical shapes to create the body. And again, in this one, I'm going to go a little more detailed. So I'm going to draw more circles than our first dragonfly. And on this one, we're doing the tail a little bit different. So you can just leave this straight line for now. For the wings, remember you can always draw more horizontal lines at different heights to guide you and to help you create proportional wings on both sides. The general shape of the wings is they, they start smaller, coming from the center, and then they open up and out, becoming a little larger. Notice that the tip of the wings on the outsides, they kind of point down like this. So it's not just like a semicircle, like a, an even curve with no direction. They curve down and they have a slight pointy corner pointing down. For the pattern of the wings, let's start by drawing curved lines coming from the center and then curving down like this again. And then with a 0-1 pen, we can start outlining the drawing. I'm using a 0-1 because I want this drawing to be more detailed. So whenever we use thinner lines and more delicate lines, we can get more realistic and add more details. So it just makes sense. Just outline the main shapes on the wings and try to create a thicker line for the top of the wings and a thinner, more delicate line for the bottom. You can do this by tilting your pen on an angle when you draw on paper to create a thinner line. You can also use an older, more like worn out pen that's releasing less ink. You can also pick just a different pen with a different tip, like a 003, which is what I'm gonna do. And whenever you want to create heavier lines, just draw with your pen positioned vertically towards the paper, and that will help your pen release more ink and create thicker lines. I'm using the 003 pen to create a thinner, more delicate lines. And with this little lines, we can create the base for the pattern of the wings. And again, they move from the center out and then they curve down a little bit. It's always nice to create this sort of triangles like this too. I feel like they, they really look more natural when they are there. And when you're ready, we can start creating the textures. To start, draw a bunch of parallel lines on the wings like this, trying to create the same distance and space between each line. Remember that the lines are moving from the center out, so you know you're not gonna draw, you know, vertical lines, right? They're not super straight and super horizontal either. They follow the curves of the patterns you created before. And remember that the thinner the lines here, the more delicate and detailed you can get. And you don't really want to see these lines too much. You really want them to be as light as it gets and this is how you start approaching realism if this is an ambition of yours you know it's just a style choice but it's always nice to learn realism so we can branch out to everything else right now for the body we are creating some beautiful patterns that repeat themselves to do that you can divide the body into little sections like this and especially the tail you can create like some even sized sections and then create the patterns i always like drawing this little semicircles and some vertical lines always remembering to make them symmetrical so it's like you have an imaginary vertical line and the center and everything that happens on one side should happen on the other side as well. Now let's work on the texture of the wings. One way to do this is to create short little dashes following each line you drew on the wings like this. This takes a little bit of time and patience and it can be pretty tedious so you know just put on some music in the background, don't click out of this video, just you know pause it if you need time and put on a podcast or some nice music that you like and you should be fine. Just try to relax and don't rush it otherwise you will have a hard time creating the dashes inside the spaces between each line and then you can create kind of like a mess. So yeah just focus on the task and you'll be done in no time. As you can see, the result is so amazing. I love this pattern. It almost looks transparent, right? Like, it's a great way to portray transparency and it's gonna look even better after we add the shading. We reach this effect because we are using very thin lines. Again, I'm using an older 003 pen, so it's not even a new one. It's releasing just a little bit of ink, not as much as a new pen. And this helps us create a very, you know, delicate effect. To add some extra details, you can make the top lines a little bit heavier and create a spot of solid black ink on each wing, like this.
And now you can create contrast by using your 01 pen again or just like a, a larger tip pen to fill some spots with black, remembering to keep the symmetry game going. Now let's add a little bit of shading by adding a little bit of stippling in the eyes, leaving the outsides a little bit darker and like a, a light spot in the center of each eye. We can also hatch very lightly on the sides of the body, leaving the light spots on the center. We can also do the same thing with the wings and we can create like a shadow that's closer to the body and then it opens out towards the light. And to do the hatching, you just create this little fast movement strokes with your pen, moving from shadow to light always. And this creates such a beautiful contrast and even some depth, right? Like. It looks so beautiful. To wrap this up, don't forget to draw the arms and the legs. And there you go, here's our second dragonfly. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please let me know if the instructions were a little too fast or too slow or, you know, if there's anything I can improve for you. Also, subscribe if you haven't already because I'm here for you every Thursday, sometimes Friday, when I don't have enough time during the week. But I will be here for you every week. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye!